that's coaches. Coaches right. got to understand, like, bro, your team ain't like that. Right. That's the ego thing. Yes, you were the man back in the day, but you, mm-hmm. your, your kid's not like that. Right. So everybody got to stop with the struggle, like Glen Lee, Easton, the Canes. Even, I even throw Petersburg in there. Okay. Like, those teams like that, they, they got squads that's built to travel. Right. They, like, they built to put up and shut up. Put up, put up or shut up. Right. Like, chain bowl. Especially in Tidewater. Yeah, like they sending you yeah. back. Yeah. Don't come up there. <laughs> like, like chain bowl. Tidewater ain't coming. Like, like, y'all, y'all, y'all went we own Y'all five. went down there. Oh, yeah, yeah, they went down Back. Welcome back, everybody, man. 23 and 3 to pod. I'm G. D. As y'all can see, man, D. We got some fellas in the house with us today. Yeah. On some exclusive, yeah. man. Yeah. Yeah. You know what I mean? Oh, we're going to let y'all introduce yourselves, y'all background, you know what I'm saying, and what we got going on, man. Coach J, representing that Chambo Packers. Like okay. I said, okay. Like lifelong Packers. Yeah, you know? yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, let's see. Two state titles. Mm-hmm. They D two, so people don't really count those. Mm-hmm. A couple NYFL titles, mm-hmm. a couple All Star trophies, but you know it's all about the kids. Man. Yeah, all about the kids. All about the kids. Uh, coach True, Corey True Blood. You know I coach with Glenn Lee. Uh, now currently the DB coach at the Richmond Iron Horses Arena, okay. the Pro Arena team. The guy down here in Richmond. But, okay. Uh, played football a long time. Originally from Philadelphia down here. Played in Virginia Union. Played career semi-pro, played professional arena out here as well. So now I'm just giving back to the game I love. Hey, and nothing wrong with that, man. As y'all can see, man, we got some good information we about to get into. So our topic today, Little League then versus now. Right. And when I say yeah. then, I mean like when we was, when yeah, we was yeah, chicks yeah, running yeah. around. Back of what the water soaking out. What? Feel, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. Like. We gonna get into like how we feel is different, you know what I'm saying? Like what the difference is, what we might can, you know what I'm saying, see, you know, from coaches, parents, even the the aunts and uncles that's on the sideline, like right. how we can get back to, you know what I'm saying, how it used to be, like making these kids, you know what I'm saying, with the information that we know. Right. You know what I mean? Like it's right. definitely a difference, but it's good to hear from a coach's standpoint. And y'all also, I know you got a kid in. Do you, your kid play football too? 13. This is okay, yeah. so y'all both, you know what I'm saying, y'all also are parents, so y'all can also see the difference right. as well. You know what I'm saying? Like, So what y'all think might be the, you know, the starting point, I should say, or what you might think might be the difference? I'm going to say community involvement, bro. Mm. Like, mm. It definitely used to be like, Everybody was a big family. It didn't mm-hmm. matter if he was a Packer, a Lion, mm-hmm. right. a Raven. Raven. You yeah, know, yeah, it yeah. didn't matter. Like everybody, at the end of the day, it was about fellowship and right. football. You know, right. we'd be on the field. He was a right. Lion, Packer. You know, on the field we was trying to knock each other helmet yeah, off. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But after the game, we had the concession stand. We right. running around, we, we playing around. throwing we up playing and run. Up and run. Like, Everything. Yeah. Like everybody was a big family. But now it ain't like that. It's mm-hmm. like cats. You know getting their feelings because they want to be on the internet talking trash. Mm-hmm. If you can't handle that type of business, then don't get on that talking trash because mm-hmm. you're getting sensitive. Just right. let that shit be. Right, I don't right, get on right, that right. talking shit because I already know. I'm sensitive. We're going to fight if I see you. Yeah, yeah, so yeah, we're going to yeah, let yeah, that yeah, shit yeah. slide. Yeah, yeah, yeah. What you think, he, Coach? I, uh, he touched on it right there. It's It'd be a lot of, and it'd be the parents and it don't so much be the kids, mm-hmm. you know. Kids are playing the game. They'll play hard together, you know. Mm-hmm. After the game, they gonna play around. Mm-hmm. It's gonna be the parents arguing, mm-hmm. still mad, still bitter. Got they team they ain't even the whatever. ones that played on right. the field. You right, know, right. it'd be too much to me. I ain't even in none of them uh, online mm-hmm. youth chat. Cause like Smart he said, man. when if I if you say something about me, when I see you, it's, I, it's know, not, I can't walk around and be doing that, acting like we cool. I ain't right, gonna do that. Right. 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 You feel me? Yeah. That's why I mean I stay to myself when it comes to that. I'm just there for the kids and the kids only. Right. I mean, my kid playing out there, I care about the kids on the other team too. Of course, right. I want to beat them. I don't want to see none of them get hurt. Right. I don't want to see them make right. bad decisions. You feel me? Right. I want them all to get good grades and good stuff just like I want my right. own son. Right, right, right. right so, right. I mean, it'd be people not having that same mentality, you feel me? And another thing is just coaches actually really coaching and knowing how to coach mm-hmm. it's another biggest thing you know just because you out there don't mean you really coaching or right, talk about right, it right, right. 
actually developing kids. Right, right, You know, right. that's a, when you're coaching, you have to be able to develop a player into a better player. Correct. You know, and that comes with learning their, their play style, you feel me, and changing your coaching style to their to play fit. style. Mm-hmm. Some kids you can yell at and cuss at it to fuel them to go knock the helmet loose. Mm-hmm. Some kids you got to come in and talk to them in the ear, like, look, I need you to do this for me mm-hmm. and make this play. Mm-hmm. And then they'll go knock the helmet off. Mm-hmm. You yell at that kid, he's going to shut down, and he's not going to be able to be the same player. He right, ain't going right, play right, at all. Right, 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 so right. noticing that, being a good coach, you know mean, being able to you know, know how your players play and how they move and how to make them react. Mm-hmm. Yeah. I see you got some jewelry. Yeah, I got some hard yeah, It's, oh, it's oh. a uh, Cold War um, last year. We got two of these. We had the belt the last year. They gave us rings this year. Okay. This is a this is a fall AYF championship. We also won the spring. We ain't get rings for that. This was six years. We also won seven years fall and spring. Undefeated seasons. Uh, holiday Bowl win as well. So, uh, yeah. it, it oh. four is ours. Come on, you gotta say the slogan, man. Everybody be here. It's the leaf, fool. It's the Come lead. on, man. Yeah, yeah, Everybody be here on y'all because they want to be y'all, man. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. 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 Sure. So, I mean, like, all right, so you kind of touched on it a little bit, too. Like, back in the day, like I said, you know, I was at the lead, so I remember, you know what I'm saying, going up against Chamberlain and, you know what I'm saying, Ashland, Laurel, the Rams and all that. Like you said, after the game, it was more so, all right, we, gonna, we, we homies. You know what yeah. I'm saying? I'm going to see you at school on Monday. Like, we're yeah. going to kick it. But nice. on the sidelines, you know what I'm saying, it's definitely not the same community. So how do you feel like we get back to – that you know, saying that type of love, like that type of environment, because my my daughter coach at Glenley, so I be there at the games. Like I kind of see, like it's not the same. You know what I'm saying? Like even the ones that I came up with, I seen them out there coaching, or they sons might be playing for the league or whatever. We had those same conversations. Like, bro, you remember back in the day, bro? We used to this joint used to be packed. Like yeah. everybody running around, kids. You would be at the field from literally sun up to sundown. Yeah. Like, and it was cool. Now it's not like that. So how you feel, like? We get back to that versus what we have now. I feel like we got, we as coaches, we got to start caring more about these kids, setting an example for these kids. Mm-hmm. Like Coach said, he stay off the internet because I'll be honest with you, I, I stay quiet, I be in the group chats, but like, be a lot of disrespectful talk. Yeah, and, cats, and cats always talk about, oh, it's just hyping up the game, it's hyping up the game. Bro, if you say that stuff in the streets, we, we slugging it out right mm-hmm. then and there. Mm-hmm. Like, we got to stop that. Like, bro, these kids don't need to see their life. And then we got to teach these kids sportsmanship. We can't be cussing and yelling and fussing at the refs and the other coaches. And then the kids doing it. Like, I I legit, like, I coach all year round, football, basketball, baseball. Basketball court, I coach five and six-year-olds. Handshaking the little kid, little kid like, y'all suck. I'm like, huh? Mm -hmm. I'm like, I'm like, yeah, I'm like, like, I'm like, I'm like, little homie, I said, yo, look, look, don't say stuff like that. Cause you know you gotta be sponsored. He was like, "Hi, right, coach, I got you." Like, yeah, like we gotta get back to that. Like, mm-hmm. we gotta like be able to police these kids together. Mm-hmm. Like, if a kid cutting up, acting up, you gotta be able to be able to say something. Not, I'm not saying run up on them, yelling at them. I'm gonna be like, "Hey, low, low, homie, like, chill, bro." Like, that right. ain't the way. Right, right, and then right. you know the parents, like, we just gotta, like you said, sportsmanship with us as well. Like, we can't be yelling, cussing, angry at each other. And then just think that that is just gonna fly by. Gonna fly. Let, let, mm-hmm. let me ask you this, man, because like I see your I see your point of it, but do you think that's achievable? Right, and I ask that because like when we were when we were young in those in those recreational leagues, it was less teams, it was less leagues. So that community that you're talking about mm-hmm. was tight knit anyway. Okay. You okay. know, it was already tight knit. Right. So mm-hmm. pretty much everybody you were playing. You knew already, yeah. right? Yeah, so yeah. now that 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 kind of that that family, that community is separated. Now you got East End. Now you got a lot of different leagues, right? So it's it's separate. So you gonna get that that we not a community. You 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 my opponent mm-hmm. at, at all times, you know. So you gonna get that kind of talk with the kids, that mentality, and and you know, and it, it crosses with the parents too, True. you know, because there's just but, a lot of separation. But okay. this this is the thing. We gotta we gotta you gotta get in the lane that you belong in. Mm-hmm. Like everybody's not a travel ball team. Everybody not built to go to Maryland, South Carolina, Georgia, mm-hmm. right. and play somebody. So you need to know that and stay in your life. We got local organizations, NYFL still going strong. 
You can get an NYFL. I don't understand why it's such a joke to be in NYFL. You play, play hard, have fun on Saturday. We got all stars. You get trophies. Like you said, like like coach team, mm-hmm. they they built like that, so they can travel. Right. But it's no way that I would take my twelve U NYFL team and go travel, just because there's coaches. Coaches right. got to understand, like bro, your team ain't like that. Right. That's the ego thing. Yes, you were the man back in the day, but you mm-hmm. your your kids not like that. Right. So everybody got to stop with the travel, like Glen Lee, Easton, the Canes. Even I even throw Petersburg in there. Okay. Like those teams like that, they they got squads that's built to travel. Right. They like they built to put up and shut up, put up, put up or shut up. Right. Like chain bowl. Especially in tide water. Yeah, like they sending you yeah. back. Yeah. Don't come up there. <laughs> like like chain bowl. Tide water ain't coming. Y'all went down there. Yeah, they went down seven five and, and, and put up and put in work. I'm gonna say tide water down. They put in work. Yeah, they put in tide water down. Yeah, yeah, I'm gonna say I put in work. Tight too. Yeah. But yeah, so I mean, like, all right, so kind of, you know, saying what you piggybacking off of what right. you said and what you said as well. I remember, you know, saying coming up, a lot of the coaches was like father figures. You know, what I'm saying like they was OGs. You know, what I'm saying I remember saying, you get in trouble, oh, you crabbing the whole field or you running the whole practice. You Facts, know, what I'm saying right. like, Facts. do we do coaches need to get? Do you? Well, I can say, let me say this. In this day and age, do you think that coaches can get back to that and parents would respect it? Because well, it kind of like how we came up, yeah. or so that's but, you know what I'm saying? Like, because I know some coaches they ain't, ain't like that. You know what I'm saying? Like, I know you a hardcore coach. I know you a hardcore coach. But some coaches are, you know what I'm saying? Like, oh nah, we ain't. You know what I'm saying? Blah, blah, blah. Because you might be the star player. Nah, when I was coming up, the star player, we ain't give a fuck if you was what you did. If you yeah. star player or not, nigga, you in trouble. You let's go. You, you know what time it is. You know what I'm saying? Like you, you as the coach, do you know most of the parents? Like right, before, yeah, like yeah, before, yeah. like when the season starts, mm-hmm. you already know. I know when we were growing up, like my parents yep. knew the coaches. Knew the already. coaches, like before the the, the practice even started, the mm-hmm. first practice. I know, I know some of my parents because they they stick with me, mm-hmm. but. You know, it's so much, like you said, so Turn many teams. That, 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 that's that's what I'm getting back. It, it's yeah. all about that. It's 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 too. It may be too far gone as far as we too spread out to have that community but, core. But then it's it's the coaches. Like just because Lord Johnny left me mm-hmm. and he go with coach, I'm not gonna show no shade to Lord Johnny. Right. I'm gonna show him love just okay. like if he was okay. on my team. Right. So but a lot of a, a lot of coaches, you leave me now. He got an attitude. Mm-hmm. Oh, we we gotta take Lord Johnny head off because he left for us. It, That's how you know they ain't for they ain't for Yeah, like bro, if, if you're getting in a better situation and like I That's said, if you, you want to travel and do things like that, I'm not gonna hold you back. Mm-hmm. I, I lost like uh my after ten you, uh that my ten you team, I lost a lot of kids. Few of them went to the Hurricanes, few of them went to Easton. Mm-hmm. I was at the Hurricanes games and the Eastern games cheering my kids on. Definitely. I didn't I didn't care that they left me. They went to a better situation. For them. For them. Like, for them. Yeah, yeah, like my team, I definitely struggled without them, but you know, I'm gonna make it do what it do. Right. Like I'm, a, I'm a coach. Like yeah. if you show up, I'm, a, I'm gonna get the best out of you. Right. Mm-hmm. And when you get to middle school or high school, yo, they gonna be like, oh, at least Coach Jay taught you something. I mm-hmm. sure did. Right. Cause yo, you're mm-hmm. not gonna get there and be like, damn, you don't know nothing. Right. Right. Yeah. You just out here basically. Yeah. Okay. Okay. So do y'all think it's a uh, like I know rec league? You know what I'm saying? When we was coming up, a lot of the rec leagues was the funnel to you playing middle school, you playing high school ball because a lot of those coaches would get familiar with you because they hear your name in those rec leagues. But it's like, it was like Hoskins or Glen Lee. A lot of those kids went to like Henderson, uh, you know what I'm saying? Like those schools, you know what I'm saying? Schools over North Side. So it was like the funnel. Do you think like with us having so many teams and leagues going on that it's still able to funnel those kids to, you know what I'm saying, to those schools? They still funnel. Um, they still funnel kids into, like, uh, Holly Springs. They funneling all of those kids that come with that play over there. Mm-hmm. They're funneling in there. They're coming to games. They're coming to watch them. Mm-hmm. I don't know who, um, again, you know, I'm not from out here, so I don't know where we, where we funnel our kids. Into. Y'all should it's be, a, like, Roth, I would think, maybe. Glenn Lee. Yeah. No, you're Glenn Lee, so Glenn, it's, 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 Glenn Lee got Fairfield. Wild and, and Roth. Yeah, yeah, okay, yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. That, was, that was those would probably be y'all funnel schools, and maybe some East End might be a little bit of maybe Fairfield, maybe. Yeah, Fairfield. You know what I'm saying? Sure. Fairfield. Yeah, you know what I do notice that a lot of the football, you feel me, the programs out here, they are making an impact because every single season, every single year, you see kids mm-hmm. from Virginia, mm-hmm. from Richmond, 804. 
going straight to the going league, league and getting burned mm-hmm. and getting ticked. Mm-hmm. A lot of them kids was Glen Lee kids, you know, East End kids. Right. You mm-hmm. know what I'm saying? They shouting out, they putting it out there, letting mm-hmm. them know. So, I mean, it goes to show that the work is being done, you know. Yeah. So, and not to say that it, it's like all bad because it's a lot of good that is coming, coming from, from for sure. Okay. It's just that I think that as coaches, as a whole, as parents, you feel me, as organizations, still gotta do better to with grooming. You know, doing better community outreach, which is very important. You know, that's how you build. You know, that's mm-hmm. how your games look like Friday night lights, you mm-hmm. know, like tights. You know, mm-hmm. when you're in the community and you're out there, you know, doing things like that, that's what really makes it better. You know, because it's about the kids. You know, and that's what makes it fun. Let me ask. Oh yeah. Let me ask you three one leads. You lost the most three one leads in NBA history. But we like playing basketball and football more. We just did. Transfer.